Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are looking at your November 2022 money and career energies. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. So we have some intense energy coming through, carrying through from the end of no, um, from the end of October, um, from the Scorpio eclipse that we had, the new moon eclipse, uh, and we also have a Taurus full moon eclipse on November eighth. So we do have a lot of energy of releasing, letting go, making change. We also have a big element of surprise, okay? But we also have, you know, um, a lot of transitional and transformational energy, people looking to make some long-term goals and plans. So we could certainly um, be experiencing some um, uncertainty. You might be getting some answers, but you may also in some cases get some second chances in the month ahead. So we've got to some big powerful energy. The eclipse energies does last for about the next six months or so. Um, so for some of you, you've got things blossoming in your world. For some things, there's, um, there is when we have eclipses, there's a faded energy coming in. And as I see your cards here, you do have uh, a faded energy that is coming in for you directly as well. So I think for some of you, this is a time of expansion and growth. And for some of you, you're really having a look at how you make your money, where you work, um, the environment that you work in, or maybe even what you do for a living. You may be looking at your money, your spending habits. Uh, we've got a lot of things that are changing. So you may be seeing where you've gone sideways in the past um, with how you spend your money or invest in money. And you might be looking for something a little bit different, maybe take more of a chance with your money or maybe take less of one. Okay, so we can certainly have all of those aspects going on. But just to get started on your reading, we do have the Garden of Venus and bringing you some rest and renewals. Also bring some abundance and some really positive emotion into your world. Um, Venus, of course, is the planet of love and abundance. A lot of things blossoming in your world. It brings in a very creative energy for you as well. All right. So, and we do happen to have Venus sitting in Scorpio as well. Okay. Right up until uh, the last week of November, right? When we transition into Sagittarian season. Um, so this is a really great time for you to get creative, to start things, to start projects, to maybe make some change or to find out how you can um, make some more money and get yourself a little, maybe a little bit more stability, maybe even for some of you to find something that that speaks a little bit more to you in emotionally on how you do make your money or um, how you spend it as well okay um, you might also be in this energy um, because there is love that comes with the Venus energy perhaps you are looking more uh, there's been a lot of things that have shifted in our world the last couple of years. So you might be looking for a job that makes you feel a little bit better about yourself, or maybe you're looking to maybe give back. How can you give back and maybe make some money too, right? You need to put a roof over your head, let's face it. So maybe you find a job at a charity or something, or, you know, maybe there is just something that, um, where your working environment may become more important to you than the paycheck. The paychecks are always nice, but if you're in an oppressive, toxic environment, and it's not healthy. So, you know, you could really be looking at things from an emotional level, but this does bring about abundance into your world as well. And also some fertility, right? The ability to start new things and have them blossom and prosper into something wonderful. Now, we do also have the root girl coming in here for you too. And this is all about disowning something. There may be an environment that you're in right now where you feel like you can't be yourself. You're feeling a little bit of detachment um, in this, or you're feeling a sense of inauthenticity, okay? And, you know, this really is this energy here of where do you feel safe and secure? Where do you put down roots? And, you know, for some of you here, you are looking at detaching from something because it may not necessarily be healthy, maybe causing you to think about things negatively. Maybe you have had some negative things go on and you're like, like, you know, I need to, I need to get rid of it. I need to detach from it. I need to find something better, right? I need to find the garden of Venus, right? Where is my garden of Venus? It ain't where I am right now. So some of you are looking for those changes in your world, especially if you're in an impressive environment. Now the root girl also has to do with your belief systems. 
and the belief systems that we have that we've developed um, and that we have in our adult life are quite often rooted in our childhood and this eclipse energy really does bring things to the forefront for us um, for us to address to examine and to maybe even let go of our belief systems are forged quite often in childhood our belief systems about relationships about money okay and they can be very hard to address as we grow into adulthood so you might be really looking at how you have um, believed in yourself or what belief systems that you have about money what were you taught when you were younger is it working for you is it not working for you um, is there a career path maybe you're a creative genius um, in some area but you were maybe told back when you were younger that no forget it you'll never make money doing that you need to go out and you need to hunt down the paycheck but things may be shifting for you a little bit right about now Okay, and these belief systems do come up with this um, with this eclipse energy in a very powerful way. It's like right in your face. And so there may be something here that you do need to um, let go of in that regard, okay, so that you can um, do something that you love or you can make some change. You may also in this energy need to put up some boundaries, especially if you're in a situation where you can't make any big bold moves at the moment, okay, but you're maybe... Um, you know, doing some deep contemplation, okay, and you're coming to some conclusions, you're making some decisions, but in the meantime, it's like, no, you know what, it's not healthy, I got to get out of here. But in the meantime, you got to just put up some boundaries before you can extract yourself from a situation. Okay, but we do have some faded energy that's coming in here for you. We've got sky writing. It's written in the stars. Okay, there's something that is happening in your world right now or something that is coming in and it's meant to be. Now, sometimes we don't love to talk about, you know, faded energy or our destiny because on some level it may imply that we don't have a choice in the matter. Um but we all sign a soul contract when we come in here, okay, when we come into our human existence. So there may be something that you have been dealing with and you're going to get some insights and understanding on as to why your life has taken this particular trajectory or why you found yourself in a certain situation or even a predicament, okay? Something may really come to light for you and right with this root girl could be rooted back in some belief systems that you have and that you have developed or that have been dictated to you. So there's certainly something here, but I also think there's something wonderful coming in, okay? Because again, we've got the faded energy, that's coming in here. So I think for some of you, you are closing down some sort of cycle. You're coming into some realization, but you've in the meantime had to experience certain things for you to gain this level of enlightenment. And that way you can stop a cycle. You can cut something away and you can live your best life in the garden of Venus. But I do think there's something wonderful manifesting in your world and you have the ability here no matter what your situation is, to find your garden of Venus, okay, to find your energy of feeling good, feeling comfortable, okay, some of you might need to take a load off, the garden of Venus can also um, bring in an energy of rest and renewal, so it could be that you've been doing some really hard work, and then we're being reminded here to take a load off, right, to um, recharge your batteries, okay, so that you can have the energy that you need um, moving forward, okay, but but like I said, there is some abundance that is blossoming in your world here, um, and it's absolutely beautiful. So we've got the seven of buttons coming in there for you, and the ten of matches, the queen of matches, and we've got the star coming out there for you too. That is absolutely wonderful. We've got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck here. So your intuition is guiding you. You may be seeing some sign symbols and synchronicities along the way, especially since we've got the fates coming in there. There may also be something here that you need to keep quiet about. The high priestess energy is one of being very connected with the moon cycles. Um, also one of being connected with your emotions. Okay, um, very calm energy here okay so you might be just taking a calm approach at things all right and sometimes it's the calm before the storm okay but there is this underlying influence here the high priestess is a very conservative energy okay so again calm before the storm we need to know what we want or know what our plan of action is before we jump into action okay but I think there is something here that is hidden 
Now it could be that something, we do have an element of surprise that's coming in here in the month ahead. So it may be something is revealed to you. You may discover some information or some deep knowledge, okay? And some, uh, you know, some deep dive there. Um, there may be something that's revealed to you, right? Something may come to you. So it could be an internal surprise, something that's, aha, I get this little bit of revelation. Now I get a deeper understanding, okay? Um, but there could also be something that comes in from the side. You might also be looking to make some moves, but you're not talking about it. There is a need here to be quiet, okay? Only because you know, especially if you're looking at changing your job or something, or you've got some big burst of inspiration, some big ideas, you might necessarily, you might not necessarily be in an environment where you trust everyone around you. Um, and it's usually not a good idea to go running through your workplace saying, I applied for a new job today. Uh, people don't really take kindly to that. So uh, you might just need to be a little bit quiet, but you are contemplating here with the seven of buttons. We've got this energy of contemplation. Where am I? What do I want? Am I good on my path right now? Am I doing all the right things with my money? Are my investments paying off? And you're looking at things in a very practical way. And this is where you're going to make some decisions, right? And sometimes we do need to just take a calm, cool, practical approach to assessing our situation. You're putting to plan together, okay? The seven of buttons is that seven of pentacles energy where you may be putting a plan together. Perhaps you're looking to change your strategy in some way, but this is a very calm, very patient, and very contemplative kind of energy. There could also be something here that does pay off for you as well. The seven of pentacles energy can be that one where something has blossomed something has come to fruition it may not be the ten of pentacles that big old abundance that you're looking for but at the seven you know this is where you're like okay I've made some money or something has paid off I've committed to my journey okay I've been very patient now hmm do I do I stay where I am right now or do I make some moves? Do I cash out kind of thing? Okay, we're looking to see if there's more potential for anything. Your blessings, we've got the 10 of matches. Whew, taking a load off. Okay, this is a blessing. This is all about letting go, releasing some burdens and some responsibilities. You're at the end of a cycle, the end of a journey. You're looking for something new or something's going to get a little bit better here on out. The blessing is a relief of stress and burden. And remember, we've got the Garden of Venus bringing in some rest and renewal. So you may have had um, something that's been really weighing heavily on your mind, a lot of responsibility, and something may be about to pay off for you, okay, or you are learning how to put up some boundaries, and we already said that a little bit earlier, and that's a blessing for you, okay, because it does relieve, alleviate a little bit stress, especially if you're in a situation where you're like um, carrying all the responsibility, Okay, and you know, maybe you're a very helpful person and you're very capable of doing a lot and accomplishing a lot. Um, and you know, perhaps you're a good nature, someone has taken advantage of that, and you're carrying more responsibility than you really should. The Ten of Matches reminds us there to assess our situation, Seven of Buttons, assess our situation, and see what am I carrying, what responsibilities do I have that do not belong to me, what can I give back to somebody else, or what do I need to let go of? Okay. Um, where do I need to say no and where do I need to put up some boundaries? So I think that you may be really stepping into that energy there for yourself, okay? But I think there's been some worries and some stresses here and there is a little bit of relief in sight on some level for you. Your advice from spirit to be confident in yourself, to have courage, take the lead, take charge, okay? Know what you want, follow your passion, your goals and your dreams. Are you feeling inspired? Are you feeling good, okay? Um, are you feeling confident that you can um, follow your path, that you can resolve some issues, that you can say no, okay? Um, um, are you feeling inspired and creative? Spirit says here, if you're not right now, okay, then it's time to do something a little bit different. You are capable of accomplishing whatever it is you set your mind out to accomplish. You are um, very more than capable of finding your true path to success, okay? Follow your passion, your goals, your dreams. If you're one of those people who you were taught at some point down, um, some point previously that, you know, you, you know, your vision or what you really love to do, what you love to create your talents, um, you know, are like a pipe dream. Okay. Um, you might, spirits really trying to encourage you to 
live the life that you love and the money will come. Okay, when we do what we love for a living, it doesn't feel like work. The ten of matches, work. Okay, so you might be looking to make a big change. All right, and maybe you have an opportunity or discovering opportunity or trying to figure out a plan, a strategy. Okay, how to, you know, turn something that I love into something that makes me some money and spirit says here you can do it take charge it's time for you to take the lead okay and to take action okay so figure out what inspires you what makes you feel good now the queen of matches always does uh, also does bring some courage courage for change courage to per persevere courage to say no right very 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 confident energy there might also be a person around you that can help you in some way Okay, so it could be a friend, it could be a coworker, it could be a family member, but there may be somebody around you that inspires you or that can motivate you in some way or maybe just had some really good advice for you. So lean on your friends there. But we do have the star energy coming out here. This is beautiful. Blessings headed your way. Okay, this is your ability to harness all of the energy that's in the universe and to be successful, to find your path to success. Okay, this brings in abundance. Um, this brings in hope and faith. This also brings in the energy of being able to heal or renew a situation or just um, believing in yourself. This brings in a big energy of miracles and blessings. We love the star card energy. Okay. So this also says that a little bit more patience, we're starting with patience and we're finishing with patience. Okay. So um, you may just be experiencing a month where there's a lot of shifts, but the shifts are more internal and not necessarily external, okay? Because you do have this energy of contemplation, of thinking about things, all right? And because the energy that we're in right now, this sets the stage for the next six months to two years, okay? So it's really important to you know, contemplate, to make those decisions, to really look at things, um, you know, truthfully and honestly, really kind of rip something open um, so that you can make those important decisions. And so the star energy does bring about healing and balance. So you may have an opportunity here to just right some wrongs, to just get things back on track for yourself, okay, to find opportunities, um, you know, but um, I think also for some of you, you do need to be a little bit patient. So the star energy says that you can dream big, it's time for you to set your intentions, to dream big, to think about what it is that makes you feel good, feel makes you feel happy, that can carry you into the future. And then you need to believe in yourself, okay? Because anything is really possible when that star energy comes out. This also says that you are attracting all kinds of opportunities to you, okay, that match your vibration. So you can essentially follow your dreams and make something happen for yourself right now. Now for the star energy, some of you are going to experience something blossoming in your world in the month ahead. Okay. Cause it is the big yes card. Miracles happen when the star card comes out, a lot of blessings headed your way for others of you. This is what is yet to come. And I actually really do quite like the fact that it's coming in there right by the fates card. Okay. So there is something to do here with your destiny, um, a faded energy, something that is meant to happen for you, something unfolding for you, or again, those deep realizations of things there as well this brings in an energy of innovation and possibly even technology as well because that is Aquarian energy so some of you may um, again interesting that we got this because we had a charity kind of energy coming out before and um, Aquarian energy is the humanitarians of the zodiac okay so possibly your path to making some money or to achieving um, a career goal that you want may be by helping other people and with the queen of matches here which is the queen of wands maybe you have some natural leadership skills and abilities and you can use those because the ten of matches is where we hit the end of a road and we're about to level up okay you could be about to start something new but also leveling up here and everything that you've worked so hard to achieve is about to pay off so some of you may actually find yourself in a leadership position or maybe a teaching role or maybe doing something with charity um, working for a charitable foundation perhaps right um, where you can still get a paycheck okay but you're giving back and you're feeling really good about yourself 
All right. But some of you may also have um, some technology. Um, maybe you're a scientist, a mad scientist with Aquarian energy there. Okay. But something to do with technology may be your path to success and abundance there as well. We've got the Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Sar... Holy shoot. Um, yeah, okay. So um, this doesn't happen very often. We've got the star on top of the star. So a lot of blessings headed your way. Wow, that is absolutely awesome. However, we'll leave that in suspense and we'll go back over here. So with your seven of buttons, your seven of pentacles, we've got the six of cups and this speaks to your inner child again. Okay, so the Six of Cups is an energy of living for the present, living for today, um, enjoying your best life, but it does also have to do with having fun, being creative, do something that makes you really happy. But it is also um, can be a card of your inner child, just like we see here. So I think some of you are kind of stepping into your own personal power, okay? Or you're looking to have a little bit more fun in your career path in some way, all right? But there could also be a return here as well. The Six of Cups uh, does bring a lot of positive vibes and a lot of creative kind of energy too. Um, but it is a card of nostalgia. So it could be that in this reflective energy that you're looking upon, you're looking at your past and seeing where you've come. You're focused on today, but you're making plans for the future. This can also be a return card. So returning to something that you wanted years ago. Okay. And in this eclipse energy that we have, we can go all the way back to a path that we were on way back um, in like the mid nineties kind of thing, or back to like, uh, I think 2014 was another key date there, a little bit more in tune with the Scorpio energy um, eclipse. But of course we do feel that um, energy still through November. So there may be something there that comes back into your life, something that you revisit. Okay. Maybe on some level you felt as though you've done one hell of a divine detour and now you're coming back to who you're meant to be okay but it's because of those experiences on the, that divine detour that maybe now you can really you really have the confidence to make something happen but the page of pentacles on top of that 10 of matches right remember we just said that your hard work is about to pay off yes it is the page of pentacles as a blessing some of you may have an opera offer an opportunity okay your investments might be paying off okay this is a great time to find a new job to ask for that raise um you know and i but also have like a little plan in place like i'm gonna ask for a raise because i'm carrying all this responsibility and extra responsibility that's not mine and i want my rewards and if the answer comes back as no i feel that you have a plan b Okay, that you've got something else. Okay, so this is a great time for you to ask for what it is that you want and to get your just rewards and what you deserve. And if you don't get it, it's also a great time to find something new. I feel that there's some investment opportunities coming in. There's some job opportunities, an opportunity to level up. Okay, but also maybe to improve your knowledge. And the Page of Pentacles is a very bookwormy kind of energy, great energy for you to find information, to do some research, especially if there's some sort of um, strategy or plan that you're um, putting into place. But the Page of Pentacles is quite often the first signs of prosperity for something that we've manifested in our world. So whether you're setting some intentions or whether you're getting something that's coming in um, that you've wanted, that you've attracted into your life, this is awesome energy. The pages quite often bring news, bring information and communication is certainly the key for you. Get clear on what it is that you want and then go for it. The king of swords brings in that communicative kind of energy, but it also brings in a sense of clarity of purpose, being truthful and honest with yourself and those around you. This also harkens back to the need to be logical Okay, and make sure that you have all of your facts, all right, before, you know, um, before jumping the gun on something, okay? So even though there is some exciting energy there with that queen of matches, okay, there is also the need to get your ducks in a row, okay, with the king of swords, okay? Take an intellectual approach before you spring into action. Always a good plan, always a good idea. That way we don't usually have regrets when we do that, right? Because we've got all the information that we need and then boom, we are making it happen. So you might have to do some research, right? Uh, you might need to, you know, get more information, but it's all here for you and it's all coming in. But communication is very, very important. The King of Swords 
you know, know what you want to say and the point that you want to get across before speaking your mind. Again, you might need to take the lead in some communication as well. That king of swords, we can use the swords to cut someone off, okay, to put up, help put up some boundaries perhaps, right? Because you're just speaking your mind, you're speaking your truth, okay? But I think also if you're going on any kind of job interviews or you're doing any kind of um, writing, like um, uh, the king of swords, really good at writing, um, emails, text messages, things, but also if you're writing a resume, okay, um, then I think that you're, man, oh man, number one, you might, um, this might be a great time for you where the juices are flowing and you can actually put together a bang up resume, okay, something that catches people eye, people's eye, okay, talk to your strengths, don't talk to your weaknesses, talk to your strengths there, but without being arrogant, all right, and that's great energy for that, okay? But there may also be someone around you that can help, okay? Um, especially if you're looking for a new job, you might need to have a professional look at your resume and maybe revamp it a little bit. Let's face it, we all sometimes have issues talking ourselves up, right? Writing a resume is ugh, painful. But oh my good Lord, the star on top of the star, like seriously, this is spirit saying, um, yeah, you didn't hear me the first time. I'm repeating my message now. Okay, tons of blessings headed your way. Success, manifestation, your ability to create, to have your wishes and your goals and your dreams come true. Okay, all flowing to you now. Again, there may be some faded energy that's going on, but I think here that it's you may just get some deep insights. Your intuition is certainly leading you um, in the right direction, on the right path. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to signs, symbols, and synchronicities. But man, oh man, when we get the star energy, this is spirit encouraging you to follow your dreams. Okay? Um, for some of you, there's things that you've wanted, things that you've been trying to accomplish, and it's all paying off for you now. Others of you, again, set some intentions, set some goals, and then make it happen. Success, abundance, all of this beautiful positive vibes flowing to you. The star energy also brings about some inspiration, but also a lot of optimism. Okay, so it's like, you know, faith and optimism restored, trust yourself, trust the universe, trust that you're on the right track, because that is just so magical. It's just unbelievable. Um, I got to tell you, I haven't had I haven't had two star cards come out on top of each other for quite a long time. Okay, so the stars are aligning for you in a very big way. So I'm going to grab a couple of last cards. I'm actually going to grab the Queen of the Moon Oracle since we do have, am I taking, no, thank you, since we do have such this massive influence with the moon cycles. Uh, let's see, last messages please for Aries. What else does Aries need to know for their money, their career? Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Keep your options open. Have an open mark. Be ready to receive, by the way. That star energy there, right? Spirit really wants you to get into full-on receiving mode um, in that uh, in that energy. So beautiful, beautiful. You may have an Aquarian person that may have some influence somewhere. Maybe you're going to partner up with an Aquarian. We have gratitude. Okay, so spirit wants to make sure that you are grateful and uh, grateful for and thankful for everything in your life. When we express gratitude, we get more things to be grateful for. So say thank you to yourself, to the universe. Okay, um, and you know, maybe you even need to uh, give thanks to someone else in your world. But I think that there's something here that's coming in where you're going to be like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so be thankful and grateful, um, not just to yourself, but also to others in your world. And uh, yeah, I think there's something wonderful. Um, it is scientifically proven, by the way, that um, spending five minutes a day in the energy of gratitude triggers the pleasure and reward centers in your brain and you attract more of these things, right? It makes you happy. It puts you in a different mindset, a more positive mindset, but energetically and spiritually, the more you express thanks and gratitude, the more things that you get to be great, thankful and grateful for. So it all circulates back to you and spirit really does want you to keep the faith, 
right? The star energy here, hope, faith, trust, okay? Balance, keep some balance in your world. Um, time for you to attract great things. And Spirit says here in this one, keep the faith, okay? Have faith that you're on the right track. Have faith in the actions that you take, okay? Be confident in yourself, all right? And magical and wonderful things will happen and will come about for you. I'll leave that there for you, Aries. It's pretty exciting. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If so, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel as well. I thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.